Right, hi guys. So, out with the RX10 Mark IV today. Didn't have to go very far, just outside. And looked up at the sky at 10 past 10 this morning and an eclipse had started. So, I quickly grabbed my RX10 Mark IV and um, we put the adapter ring on because I needed to um, Add this to it. The KNF concept uh oh, there we go. We're on. KNF concept. So I've got a ND one thousand filter in here, the hundred millimeter size filter. Square one, it just slides in. This is the adapter, so obviously you can put a circular polarizer in there, I suppose. Um, I've only got two filters, so one, this one, and I've also got a variable filter as well. So it starts off dark at the top and then goes to clear. Ideal for landscapes and even filming uh, stuff with a bright sky. You can dull the sky down. Um, yeah, works a treat. Absolutely wicked. Um, I was very, very kindly given these and um, just haven't had a chance to use them. So this is the first time of use. The autofocus worked absolutely fine through the glass. No drama whatsoever. I was shooting up to one twenty-fifth of a twenty-five thousandth of a second, sorry. Um, that didn't make the one thirty-two thousandth of a second that the camera can do. Uh, on video, I could only max out at one twelve thousand five hundredth of a second on the shutter speeds. Um, but it allowed me to shoot f4, f5.6. So very, very easy to hand hold as well. So uh, as you'll see in the video in a minute, of how it actually went. But this, just sort of talk about this kit a bit, it's absolutely wicked, but you've got magnetic little pouches. I don't know if they're leather. Um, they feel expensive, um, feel very nice. So I've got, like I say, I've got the, this is a 150, so it's a rectangle shape filter, uh, which is a, ver a variable, a variable, um, a graded um, dark to light. And then you've got a 100 millimeter one, which this one sits in that pouch, square one. You get a box of loads of different ring sizes for adapting your lenses. So this one's on the 72 millimeter for the RX10, but a couple of other lenses I've got are 82s and 67s and stuff like that. So that that's there to be utilized. Uh, really, really cool. Quick release system. So you just push the side there and it just pops off and you can carry on using it as a normal camera straight away, or you can put it back on and do whatever you need. So really, really quite a good thing. Um, completely different system to the magnetic one I was using with the RX10 the other week, uh, which has got a polarizer on it, which I, I would use normally. This one is obviously, I can utilize it on pretty much any of my lenses because I've got all the adapters. So it's really, really handy in that side of things. You can also put a second filter in there if you wanted to, to really, uh, you know, add some extra, uh, either color or more, even more, um, higher than an ND1000 kind of thing if you really wanted to. Uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd show you that quickly. Um, like I say, K, K and F concept. It's uh, came with a 100 mil system as such, like so. And also got the extra one as well, which is absolutely wicked. Um, not actually done anything other than this with it yet. So I do want to try it out on the A1, see how that works. But yeah, I just thought I'd try it out today. So here's some of the video and a couple of the photos of the um, eclipse happening. Like I say, I shot the camera in AFC wide, uh, zoomed into 600 mil on in stills, I say 100, and I was anywhere between 1 12,500 for the second up to um, 1 32,000th, but didn't really go 32,000th that much. A couple of times I went even slower to try and go a bit, a bit more creative on it, but the sun is so bright anyway that even through the clouds, it still needed to be up there. And obviously I could shoot F4 or F5.6 or there about that sort of area, which works a treat. And I'd say autofocus worked perfectly through this, which is mad, consider I can't even see through it with my own naked eye very easily. Um, yeah, uh, and it filmed in 4K 25, um, but clear image zoom. So an extra 1.5 times uh, extra zoom, which is really handy on the video side of things. Just gives you a bit extra. Sorry about the knocking, if you can hear that. That's builders doing stuff. Uh, yeah, so really, really pleased on how it's turned out. Let's go and have a look. 
and see what we think. It's there's one bit else I really just want to talk about it really quickly. It was really dark clouds either side, and there was a gap. Um, still cloudy, but basically it was a lot, a lot thinner, so the sunlight was casting through it. And it almost, as I zoom in, you'll see it. It, it it's almost like I'm travelling through, almost like a weird portal. It's very strange. Uh, so hopefully it, looks, it comes across on camera a lot better than it did. Then I'm trying to explain it, if you know what I mean. Um, so I think that's going to be quite cool to, to have a look at. Um, it was just interesting. I'm glad, glad it was not too dull. I mean, there was big clouds everywhere. I was just hoping that I was actually going to see it. It's interesting. Um, and it, like I say, it allowed me to use this filter system just to try it out because I haven't actually used it at all. It's been sat on my desk for two weeks. Um, but yeah, so. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button, little notification bell as well, and you'll see when I bring out new videos as well, quite regularly now. I'm trying to get into a more regular um, thing, twice a week at least. Um, so yeah, autumn colours are here. So I'm just going to get out in the autumn colours with the RX10 a bit as well and the A1. Um, new studios up and running, but lots to do in it. So yeah, still work to do and build and uh, things like that. So yeah, just cracking on really. Anyway, um, here, here we go. Here comes some of the bits I'm sure. So as you can see here, stabilization on the RX10 Mark IV is a little bit limited, especially in video, especially at huge zoom levels. So I'm a little bit shaky. It was quite windy as well um so not ideal but you can see here actually some sunspots in the actual um shots there left hand side and right hand side to the to the top slightly there there's actually some sunspots so it's quite visible the um yeah really really impressed actually by those filters really really pleased um uh, rxm performing really well uh just that stabilization on video just needs to be improved so hopefully we will see that coming on the next version if we ever get it um yeah, so just a quick few snaps, a few little video clips, and it just shows you that you can capture pretty much anything with this camera if you want to. So, um, like I said before, please go and subscribe, click the notification bell as well, and any questions, feel free uh, to comment below. And if you did you actually take any pictures of this, um, let us know. Anyway, I shall see you soon.